making his way to the ring from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, The Undertaker. There may be no entrance more intimidating than that of The Undertaker. Take it in, guys. This is truly legendary. Allow me to point out just how focused he appears to be here tonight. I noticed the same thing, Cole. In fact, looks to me like he'll settle for nothing short of a victory here in this one. From Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 260 pounds, Triple H! Here comes the game, Triple H. It's all about the game, Cole. Corey, what should we expect from him here tonight? I expect him to come out of the gate hot, Cole. From what I've been told, he's been really concentrating on getting the advantage early. But of course, that's easier said than done. A superstar gets a certain feeling when he knows there's a strong possibility he may exit the match in a completely different condition than he entered. That's not exactly a comforting thought, 
when it's your career. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. And it's worth noting that we are just a few miles from the WWE Performance Center, which means there are plenty of WWE hopefuls in the back studying this one. Well, on the topic of The Undertaker here, all these superstars have the ability, but what does he need to do specifically to come out ahead here? I like his chances here tonight, Cole. I know I'm not breaking any news here, but when it comes to singles competition, he really has what it takes. Look, Triple H is on the attack now. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Oh, I think this man means business. How's he getting away with this is beyond me. Can he end it quickly? And The Undertaker with a quick kick out. Nice. That's all right, Cole. When the bell tolls and the flames of hell burn, that means the man known as the Lord of Darkness, the Dead Man, and the Phenom is on his way. The Mighty Undertaker is the greatest force in this industry and the collector of souls. And once again, we see a return to this specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. The Undertaker in a very unfavorable position here. You have to wonder if he could recover from... And he goes for the pin. This battle's not over yet. Are you kidding me? The Undertaker laughs at stuff like that. You never know when evil will appear, Byron. We witnessed that when Undertaker emerged from the darkness for the 900th episode of SmackDown Live. It was here the dead man proclaimed he was back to taking souls and digging holes. The Undertaker is the Reaper. This giant possesses powers that extend far beyond our mortal world, and if forced to, he will unleash those powers to bring your soul with him to the dark side. Welcome to Death Valley. Oh, no. The superplex, that's what you get for climbing the rope, folks. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. The Undertaker digs deep into his opponent's head every chance he gets. There he goes, crashing to the floor. The Undertaker knows every game there is, including mind games. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. The dawn of the dead man began on a cold November night at the 1990 Survivor Series. The Undertaker was the mystery partner of Ted DiBiase's million dollar team. Sports entertainment changed forever that night. Yeah, but it's all about sustaining. Spinebuster on the pine! Wow, we might just be witnessing the end of The Undertaker. Oh man, The Undertaker's in trouble now. And there's the counter. Triple H knows how to polish off an opponent. Triple H, he's got him where he wants him! Pedigree! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. He's on the ropes, and the ref wisely stops the count. Look at the eyes of the game. He's still not moving, guys. He might be out, Cole. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Look at this. Missed by a large margin on that one. Wow, he's better than that. Over the years, we've come to expect these bursts of greatness from him. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. <laughs>